morning people it is monday lovely monday and i am off to one empty the recycling out of my car and two pick up a mini surprise for philippa although she probably won't see it as a surprise so on the last video if you saw it maybe it will be the last video maybe it won't but if you saw the video about track track prepping the citroen c1 um, we have a few more things to do on that before it is ready for the track. Um, one of which being, I wanted to get rid of the existing tiny wheels and balloony tires now that it's lowered a little bit. So we have a bit of a better track experience, better handling, etc. etc. So I found a set of BBA, BB, BBS wheels on Facebook Marketplace at 30 minutes away. Um, for a hundred, they were up for 150 euros. Um, I managed to get him down to 120. Don't know what happened there, stupid phone. Recycling done, right, let's go and get these wheels. And here they are back at the ranch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take two down and test fit them because well, why wouldn't I? There's wheels that need to be fed. Um, he was adamant that these, see, you see the BBS. Um, these are uh, four by 100, which I knew, um, but he was sure that these would not fit the C1 because typically Peugeot, Citroen, and all that, they're four by 108s, I know this. This is what I always used to have, same as Fords, but apparently the, 10, the 107, the Citroen C1 is actually a one, a uh, four by 100, but I don't know. So I'm gonna go and check. All right, so quickly jack this up, whiz those off, see if they fit. Yeah, obviously it's already been half jacked up, hence the reason it's monster truck high, but let's see if these fit as if by magic, like something like. Ah, ah. Right, so as you can see, they're on, and I think they are pretty damn good. I'm gonna try and get some center caps and everything. Um, but no, uh, they, they fit. The, the only issue I've got at the moment is the center bore. So the center bore on the hubs were smaller than the center bore for the wheels. Um, but I also think, if you come and have a look at this, the offset on them is 45 compared to the 39. So they actually sit in about six mil more. You can tell the line there. What I could actually do with a bit more poke than that. So I'm actually gonna look for some hub centric spacers that will account for the the center bore so I don't need spigot rings so instead of using the spigot rings which will reduce the bore of the center um, on the wheels to the one that fits the hub instead of using those what I will do is I'll look for some 10 mil hub centric spacers which I think will just give me a little bit more poke out there which I think will help line things up a bit nicer See, it's full on, full extension at the moment with the wheels, uh, with the suspension travel. So when that comes back up, it will push out slightly because it's kind of <laughs> cambry at the moment. Um, so that will push out slightly. Maybe I'll go for a five mil. I don't know, um, but I'll soon see. I think I'll wait until the tires arrive because as soon as the tires arrive, what I can then do is I can test it on there, uh, get them fitted, test it on there and drop it down and then I'll see what it looks like and how much sort of clearance I have. Um, worst case, I, I can order some spigot rings anyway, just to, they're about a five or a set or a 10 or a set, they're not a lot. Um, and I can, <coughs> excuse me, either use those or try and get a, a bit more kind of gap, especially on the rear, I think we need a, a bit of extra, a bit of extra gap there. See, look at that arch compared to where that wheel is. That could easily go out front. Front I reckon could too, but I reckon that will adjust slightly. But that rear, I reckon need a 10 mil spacer on it. Um, it will at least pull it out on the offset as well, so. But, I reckon they are gonna look mint. So I've got some Nankang NS2Rs on their way. Uh, Nankang for me always used to be the, the worst. In fact, we, we nicknamed them Ditch Finders because they were just fucking shocking. But I've used the NS2Rs on the on the S4. Um, they're super soft compound, and I think they're absolutely fantastic in the dry. And um, their grip's really good. Road noise is pretty shocking. Um, wet performance is pretty shocking. Wears not great because they're a super soft compound. But if you want a, a dry, semi-slick 
tyre on a budget, then you can't, you can't go wrong with the NS2Rs. So they're going to be going on those, uh, 195 and 50, 15. Uh, should give plenty of solid sidewall um, and plenty of grip. So well, as soon as we get those on, uh, let us know what, what colour what colour we should do those. Ah, oh, and I've got another, another thing I'm doing as well. And we are back down. He says, come on. Slowly, slowly back down to reality. And she's back down. She looks properly quality on those uh, on those springs. Now she's lower. Makes such a difference. It's going to handle so much better with these wheels and and tires on. It's going to actually be a bit of a bit of a hoot. And then it needs cleaning. I'll tell you why it needs cleaning. Well, one because it's fucking filthy, um, but two, I've got some orange vinyl. Why have you got orange vinyl, Ross? Well, Philly likes. Uh, white cars with orange accents um, and I'm clearly not going to do it to a revoke so I was like oh bit of a laugh I'm going to mimic Amelia Hartford's C8 and if you haven't seen it I'll put a picture of, like here um, so I'm going to mimic that um, just with the C1 and Philly's uh, Philly wants number 7 on the side so I'm going to do that um, I put 20 quid in vinyl samples and 3M vinyl samples, so I'll do that. Um, but I need to clean it first. And also before that, I want to get the wheels and tyres on. Um, so I'll probably come back to this and you'll see me in a few days once the tyres have arrived and I've got them all fitted and we can fit them back on. And at the same time, I have a new gasket. I think it's upstairs actually. Um, a new gasket for the exhaust because the exhaust was actually blowing them soot all over the bottom of the car if you saw in the last episode uh, and it's one of those crush gaskets that you get the wire wool style ones so I ordered a new one of those and I've got a new clamp the clamp should be here soon as well I just want to make sure that there's no blowing there because it is going to go through its MOT equivalent control technique inspection um, so I want that all sorted uh, so yeah I'll be doing that as soon as some of the other bits arrive and uh, yeah so check back with me in one second and it'll probably be a few days time. So I'll see you in a bit. I've also, I've come back, sorry. I've just removed the wing mirror covers because I wanna, these need to go orange as well. So check, I've just uploaded a short video. If you, if you come here and you need to understand how to get these off, I couldn't find anything online. So I'm gonna put a short video of how to do this because I couldn't find a little video to help. So I found, I made one. Super easy, but you just need to know where to, where to stick something in and get the leverage. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Right, I'll be back when, uh, when I have covered these in orange. So I managed to wrap these jobs, the caps, nicely. Uh, well, I say nicely. If I keep it this distance, it looks spot on. Uh, let's not go any closer. I'm not great at this, but I think they look pretty good. See what they look like on the car then. <laughs> there goes there goes the start of the orange so what I'm gonna try and do as well is is do some orange on the inserts around here I might even cover this space but I may just do a bit around the bottom here some on the side skirts down the bonnet go faster stripe down the middle in a kind of shape just like that down the middle and then all the way down the top but again it needs a bit of a clean before that happens because this is minging um but i'll get everything on first but and then we're going to have yeah down the side skirt a line down there um we'll have some bits on the back as well i might just color these inserts here this part in orange and then uh and then yeah she'll be getting there Number on the door, number seven. It's Philly's favourite number. But yeah, I think that looks that looks pretty quality. If you could say that about uh, Citroen C1, you know what I mean. Not bad job. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So this time I definitely will be back in a few days when other things have arrived. That is all of the stuff that I will be doing, and I will. 
try and find some time to put the rest of the decals on there, but like I said, I'd rather get all the car clean. Well, I would need to get it clean anyway, um, before that sort of stuff happens. So it won't be for a few days anyway. Uh, maybe this weekend, we'll see. Um, but yeah, the next time you see me, we'll be then. The next day. Right, it's my lunch break. Quickly nipped outside. Can't get the final plot to work, so I'm on email support with them because they ain't working for some reason. So I thought, what can I do at lunchtime? This. Old wheels being cleaned up. Not there, that's still dirty. Not cleaned that one up yet. But once cleaned up and sprayed, looks like this. That's actually pretty good. 130 quid they were. From that to that. I think that's fucking ace. They're gonna look absolutely belting when I get them all on. Sticky rubber. Right, let's clean these up. That's probably about as good as they're gonna get. I'm gonna whack another coat on there. This one's pretty much empty, so I'm gonna get another one. Like I said, they're not perfect. They do have their blemishes, as you can see. But from a distance, 130 quid, 10 quid can of spray paint, quick clean off. They're gonna look properly quality. Now I need to find some centre caps. Don't know what that was. But centre caps are a pain in the ass. These are originally off a of Mark III Golf, Vento, Jetta, whatever you want to call it. Um, 15 inch, 4 by 100s If you can find centre caps for those, drop me a link because I need to find some. Thank you very much, please. Right, lunch break over. That's them done. Now, back to work. Don't know if I mentioned it, but the spacers and spigot rings have arrived, so that's already. Um, yeah, tyres arrive tomorrow, so um, you'll probably see me tomorrow putting these on and getting them back in. It's now Thursday and the tyres still are not here, which is massively frustrating because they said they would be, um, but i just got to wait. On the plus side, uh, my order from the Drift Shop is here, so I have my 5mm front spacers, not hub-centric, 5mm will be fine. Um, I've got my 10mm rear hub centrics, my spigot rings, some longer wheel bolts, job is a good one, my anti roll bar full new kit with drop links and everything. My These are the things I was on about the, the like donuts. They're like um, wild wool donuts that go in. I can actually fit that now. Uh, and the same, I've got a, a new clamp, because the old clamp is a bit of shit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm on, I'm on lunch, so I'm gonna quickly fit a new exhaust uh, bracket and the donut. What I've also been doing, I wanted to check with Philly what she liked for style. Honestly, not to scale, it's a little bit of A4, but what sort of style she liked for the, the front. Um, so I'm, I'm not really sold on which one I'm going to do. Uh, I've had to order some more vinyl because this is quite thick. It's 2080, I think it is, thickness, and it gets caught in our plotter. So I've managed to mess up all of that. So I, I've got some more in order, so I've got to wait to fit that. But as you can see, a little bit more progress on some orange for the front. That is the lines that I was doing to measure up for the other bits. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to quickly why will off the calipers and they can go orange too and i'm going to spend the time and quickly fit this exhaust i don't even think i need to jack up the car so i'll fit this exhaust bracket and um, exhaust gasket thing as well so i'll quickly do that you can actually see under the car where it's been leaking see that exhaust there that is where all of the soot has been coming out of that joint so i just need to take that off and replace it easy well, that might explain the blowing a little bit because there's not actually uh, one of these donuts left in there. So fuck knows where that's gone, but it's not there anymore. So let's put it in. So that's back on. Excuse the noise. And there's no blowing. Good job, Ross. One thing done. See what this bad boy makes. Legendary. What a legend. All right, let's drop this down and uh, take this side off. Now the other side's jacked up and you can just see it poking out a bit of orange. So they'll look nice behind the uh, 
the new wheels where the tires haven't arrived yet so uh yeah just gonna do i've just coated the other side with just some hammerite smooth to go over the top first i love a bit of hammerite solves loads of issues fills loads of shit so put some hammerite smooth over the top and then i'll just spray a bit of orange over the top of that doesn't have to be perfect it's all good and uh yeah nice little orange accent so i can see behind the wheels so yeah that's exhaust fixed calipers painted now just gotta wait for um one the rest of the vinyl to arrive now because i had to order some more like i said i fucked up some of the stuff so i can't actually fill in that rear section that's going to be done and god knows how i'm going to do that um and then i want to do each of these side skirts as well and philly mentioned about doing the doing this i don't know how i'm going to do that or what i would do i might just do the end caps you know just to give it a bit of an accent on the end um so i might do those in fact i could try and do one now and see what it comes out like i think i've got enough to just do one of these end caps and see what it looks like let's have a go there she is you can see those little slightly orange calipers sticking out behind the steels yes there's a lug nut missing wheel bob whatever you want to call it obviously they're not going to stay on i actually did manage to wrap those back little pieces i think that looks pretty cool actually it's uh i didn't wrap the whole thing but i just wrapped the tail bits just there which I actually think looks pretty cool. I'll see what Philly thinks, but I just think it adds that little extra touch. There. So obviously now I need to wait for the rest to arrive, but that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I might actually stop this episode here because even though you're gonna hate me because you wanna see these wheels on and it all finished as much as I do, um, but I can't, I need to wait. And I can't get it all here in time. So I'm going to wrap up this one and you'll see on the next one when the wheels should arrive, I'll have the anti-roll bar changed over and hopefully we can finally get the decals on and she'll be ready to race. Ready's a loose term when it comes to a Citroen C1, isn't it? But as ready as she'll be um, to have a little home around the track. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this won't take long to get ready and finished to a degree where we can smash around the track. Um, it's going well so far, better than I expected and I'm actually really enjoying this. It's quite a nice, fun, cheapish project to get stuck in on uh, and it's quite rewarding-ish, apart from that suspension. Did I forget that? Yeah, that was a pain in the ass. I hated that. Anyway, stay tuned for the third third episode where we will finally get on those wheels take it easy guys see you on the next one